Hello everybody, it's Kim Wilson here and I haven't done a lunchtime live in over a week so I've got a few things to share with you. A fun technique this morning. I had company in from out of town for the eclipse which was really 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 fun and amazing and I did want to remind everybody that if you're going to be scrapbooking your eclipse pictures to grab some of stargazing designer series paper it's got some uh, really cool designs that would be great for scrapbooking um, those wonderful photos and this paper is retiring so I would grab it soon and it's on sale too it's part of the last chance sale in my store kwstamps.stampinup.net so I wanted to show you this cute little technique that I saw online um, Stampin' Up posted a card and also some other people have been um, doing it with the strips you know I love my designer paper and love using up the the scraps that I have so to do this technique you just have to put some strips of paper and um, use kind of a fine design I use this little line design from Let's see, it's the Brights Designer Series paper, and that paper is also um, retiring, and it's also on sale for the last chance sale. So that's the one that has the nice heart designs and the big polka dots and the stripes as well. So I really enjoyed using um, that paper this year, but every year they come up with a, a new design. So um, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Here are the designs for the upcoming um, papers, some really pretty leaves, and um, on the back we have little dots and stripes. So that's a cool design too. So look forward to that starting in May. And those are the new in colors as well. Uh, so a little sneak peek of the new in colors. So back to the project. Um, you can use this uh, technique with either die cuts or punches. And basically what you're doing is just gluing your strips onto a piece of scrap paper. Or better yet, if you have adhesive sheets, just pull off one part of your adhesive sheet, um, add your scraps, your strips, and then you will ha actually have stickers too once you punch or die cut because they're, the adhesive sheets are sticky on both sides. So you'll be all ready to stick your piece onto um, your project. Now what if, if you don't have adhesive sheets, here's a, a quick tip to um, make sure you can use this technique. And you want to make sure that all of your pieces are glued down carefully. So what I did was um, grab this end, the large end of your um, multi-purpose glue, your liquid glue, and then when you put your glue down, make sure you spread it around with that rubbery tip. And that way all the pieces are glued down so that when you punch or die cut, you won't have little bits of your designer paper coming out. And there's that beautiful thanks. And that is from the Thanks and Beyond dies, which are available right now only for Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So these coordinate with the um, April, May, and June kits. So the April kit has the two butterfly dies, the May kit coordinates with this um, cute stitched label die, and then the thanks will go with the um, June kit. So just a cute idea to use that, um, those stri that strip technique to cut out um, some words, and we have other word dies in the catalog as well. So really a cute idea to get like a rainbow effect on your word dies. And hey, the cloud punch is also retiring. And I believe it's on sale as well, so you can use it with your punches. Um, trying to get all, all five colors here from my rainbow. There we go, and there's a cute little cloud um, to decorate your cards, scrapbook pages, home decor projects, whatever you want to use it for. Really fun technique. Um, using just scraps of your designer series paper. Okay, one last thing. Uh, card class is Tuesday, so here are the projects we're doing. PDFs are ready to go. I'll do the videos on Monday, and hope you can join me either virtually or in person for card class in next week on Tuesday. So have fun trying this technique, and happy crafting.